Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about kerning and tracking. These are two of the most basic elements that you will have to learn when it comes to typography, but they're also two of the most important. So what I'd like to do today is take you through a couple of examples where the tracking or the kerning has been improperly applied and the results are, I'm pretty sure, not what the original creator had desired. So let's hop on over to the computer and take a look. Okay folks, so let's take a look at kerning and tracking. And the first thing to let you know is what is the difference between kerning and tracking. Well, when you are kerning, what you are doing is you are adjusting the space between two individual letters in a word. That may be moving them apart or bringing them closer together. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to achieve an a balance of space between the letters so that the word looks correct. Sometimes when you have letters together, the space is too much or it isn't enough. So what you need to do is adjust that spacing. And here you can see I've adjusted the kerning between the R and the N. So if I remove that again, you'll see the R and the N go back together. When it comes to tracking, as I said, kerning is the, the space between individual letters. With tracking, it's the spacing between all of the letters in the word. So you'll see here, when I start to increase the tracking on this word, the space is increased between all of the letters. And that is what tracking is. So it's pretty simple to understand. Kerning is the space between two letters. Tracking is the space between all of the letters. Now, when it comes to kerning and body copy, like the sample I have here on the right-hand side, you really don't need to worry. When you get to text at this size in paragraphs, kerning really isn't much of an issue. What you may need to do sometimes, though, is to adjust the tracking. And a reason that you might want to do that is like we have here. At the bottom of this paragraph, we have one solitary word, which is known as an orphan. You really don't want to have that when you're creating paragraphs of text. So in order to fix that, what we can do is we can select all of that paragraph and I can adjust their tracking by a very small amount and it will lift that orphan up into the last line. And as you can see, you really can't tell much of a difference between this top paragraph and the bottom paragraph in terms of spacing between each of the letters in the word. So now that we've kind of got the basics, let's take a look at two examples where the kerning or the tracking has actually had quite a detrimental effect on the words that are being portrayed and in a very negative way. That is where kerning and tracking really comes into its own. So let's take a look at the first example. Now this should say massage therapist. But due to the kerning that we have between the E and the R, we can see that it actually says something entirely different and entirely unwanted. So the way to fix that would be through adjusting the kerning. And we need to adjust the kerning between the E and the R in the word therapist. So I can click in my software here, and then all I do is I can adjust it so that the kerning is in a negative value. So if we bring it down, you can see there that brings that closer together. It's a little bit too close. So if I kind of bring that up a bit, and you can see now that says massage therapist, which is entirely different to what it says over on the right. Now let's have a look at another example, but using tracking this time. So this should say, 10 flickering lights. But due to the tracking of the word, bringing all of the letters closer together, the L and the I join up, forming a different letter to the I. It looks like a U. So we don't really want that in here. So let's take a look at that. So here we have the word flickering, and you can see here how the L and the I join together, forming an entirely different letter, which really gives a different meaning to this word altogether. What we want to do is we want to select this and we want to increase the tracking. So you'll see as I go through, this was the original, and as I increase the tracking, 
the spacing between each letter appears. And you can see now how we've distanced the L from the I, and it now says flickering. There is some work to be done on this, which would require probably a little bit more kerning between some of the letters. You know, we could increase the kerning just between the L and the I to really distance it and um, make that more legible to say the word flickering as opposed to what it had said over here on the right hand side. So there you have it folks. As you can see with some improper kerning and tracking it could lead to some quite disastrous results for your text. So when it comes to you creating headlines or even wordmark for your logos, make sure you double check the kerning and tracking so that you don't end up with the situations that we had in the examples I showed earlier. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And once you have, click that little bell icon to make sure you get a notification whenever I release a new video. And until I see you next time, folks, stay creative.